Hello, folks. I'm doing it a bit of a late stream. Hello, folks. I'm doing it a bit of a late stream. Well, okay. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Not sure how long I'm going to go. But, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Ah. Oh, well, hey, Mint Leaf. How you doing? All right. <laughs> Have a good night. objective is. Should probably check that out. Quest. <sighs> Half wooden inventor. Photographs. We already got one. An elaborate gadget. Ah, oh, the the old factory. I think I'll wait on that one. I'll try to go and get this photograph though. Hmm. Eleven thousand. Uh, so let's try to sell more stuff, I think. mode stuff. <sighs> hmm. Let's see. I believe these this is sellable. Like uh not not super useful, but I'm going to check anyway. Is it sellable? Nope. But, uh, I don't want to sell that. Okay. So it's an upgrade material. Alright. Machine leg. wonder if I can bring that to dude in the resistance camp. Pristine cable. Oh well. <clears throat> Some of these. I'll go to the desert. Hmm, there's something there. Desert camp. That might be where the oasis is, south of the camp. Jackass. I can't deal with your weird hobbies anymore. Like, I care what you think, jerk. 
jump up to? Oh, hey there. Listen, just ignore that guy. Selfish fool refuses to help me with my work. See, I'm doing a study on the excitement levels of androids while in battle. But I, but I need to record combat data from the newest models in order to reach more steady conclusions. What do you think? Fun, right? Alright. Alright, good to know not everyone around this joint is a spineless hunk of crap. Here, follow me. Alright. Gross! See that jerk over there? Yes. I need you to get combat data for him. Science will pay you back for this, I promise. Now, fight! Will do. Well, too far. Kind of slouching in my chair, so if I look like uh, the camera's a bit low, that's why. Ow! <laughs> I tried to dodge, but I missed. Requested mission completed. This cannot continue. This cannot continue. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that was great! Hey, did you know that android battle fever is actually quite similar to the human emotion of love? So if we want to know what all those old human records are always going on about, all we need to do is let our fists fly. Makes this whole thing feel more romantic, don't you think? Well, all right. Hmm. I still don't have enough data. I could use some more help. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I need you to wipe out those enemies over there without taking any damage. Like, at all. Zero. Zip. Nada. Now it's time to fight. In the name of science! 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 Get him! <laughs> Maybe. Just shoot him. No, no. No, no. I think I'll be having none of that. No, no. What up, dude? <laughs> you die. There you go. Yes! I love you, your Hagoons. I really do. Just look at all this data. Speaking of your Hagoons, I'm a bit surprised you types are so intellectual. I thought combat models would be more dense, a bit more dense. Less thinking, more killing and all that. Frankly, giving you any kind of intellect at all strikes me as pointless. More data. I need more data. And you are going to help me, right? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. Still haven't had enough, eh? I like you. You got guts. Metaphorically speaking, of course. I want you to take out those enemies over there in 30 seconds or less. Now it's time to fight. In the name of science! Ah! I got enough levels. Not scronk enough yet. No. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious about this or what? Come on already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a break. Let's try it again. Alright, that works. I just used my gun too often last time. Alright. Requested mission completed. All right, jackass. Holy crispy crap on a stick. Now this is data. Here, look at this. See this reaction? It proves that androids' brains contain an algorithm which allows them to derive pleasure from, ba from battle. Without that, we'd probably have stopped fighting a long time ago. 
What a brutally efficient piece of evolution. It's possible this is based on an I identical pleasure center in the human brain. Man, those flesh bags really were something. I just need a teensy bit more data. You look like you got nothing better to do. Want to give me a hand here? Excellent. You're both... You're the best guinea pig gal a gal could ask, ask for. This should be uh, the last bit of data I need. I want you to wipe out those enemies in 30 seconds or less. Oh, and you can't take any damage either. All right. Now let's try and fight for science. All right. Get him! <laughs> Not this time. Yeah! Oh, yeah. This cannot continue. This cannot continue. And some weapon attack ups. Bloody hell. Bloody nasty gut strewn hell. What do you know? <laughs> do you know what I just discovered? The excitement we feel in battle is caused by a type of pleasure generating chemical produced in our circuits. Anyway, I think I can localize the substance and turn it into a drug that'll help expand our combat capabilities. All these advances, and it's all thanks to you. See? I told you science was the best. Anyway, keep an eye out for that drug. Once I get it synth synthesized, it's all yours. Alright. I can't just whip up a complicated drug like this overnight. Go keep yourself busy for a while, yeah? Okay. Well, it looks like the oasis is north of here. Maybe, if that's what it is. At least there's something over there. I'm assuming that's what the... That's what's going on. So if we use those numbers from the Resistance Camp as coordinates, yeah, we're pretty much standing right on top of whatever they're pointing to. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Uh, in that back fenced area in the Resistance where we were moving boxes. Got those coordinates. Uh. Hello. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Got a lot of health, buddy. Doodle da 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 da
analyze this machine. Huh? What for? Call it professional curiosity. Analysis. This machine line forms comrades were driven by that grudge. Oops. It lured a resistance member to this location. Hmm. It then proceeded to destroy him. Are you saying this thing wanted revenge? Oh, come on now. That concept is far too complex for a machine. Says you. Critical up, plus two. Oh. This corpse. I wonder if it's the resistance member we're looking for. Let's check his memory. Seems this one came here looking for revenge as well. I guess the weaker one lost. <clears throat> Man's journal. journal left behind by a man. Thoughts about his fallen comrades are spelled out within. Maybe we can take it back to the resistance camp for someone. I really hate this. I'm Report. Mail notification received from access point. Why you gotta interrupt Night S? All right, so I guess let's take a look at the map. Hmm, mappy. Okay, so there is a spot here. Factory, ah, yeah. Well, that's not the one I want to go to right now. I want to save that for when more people are watching. Photographs. Where is that? Pascal's village. <clears throat> City ruins near the tower. Desert camp. Huh. Alright, I guess it's over this way. Because that's the apartments, I think, yeah. Wandering couple. Factory entrance. Let's go. How to get to there, that's the question. I thought that was the old factory, but it's not. It's, uh... <clears throat> something else. Hi, Moose. Hi, Moose. Can I ride you? 
guess. Thank you. So there's an access point over here, too. Nice. So we should take out that moose. Or it's... It's an objective. I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> I think it's an objective. Not a uh, not an access point. Well, let's get up there then. <laughs> Hello. Oh, snap. Robo Sensei. Ah! Father Servo. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'm the warrior monk Father Servo, and I seek to enlighten... Uh, I seek the enlightened path through perfection and battle. Father Servo? But alas, there is only so much Father Servo's capable of on this on his own. Perhaps you would be so kind as to aid a fellow on his spiritual journey. Uh, I'm not sure we should be helping a machine with combat training. Oh, oh, oh. fear the unknown cloud your mind, young one. What's in it for us? Father Servo shall impart upon you all of his secret battle arts. I don't know, 2B. This seems pretty suspicious. What do you think? Help Father Servo train, of course. They haven't smile upon, upon Father Servo this day. Now then, let us start with a light round of sparring. Robo Dojo, white belt accepted. Wahaha! Shwa doo bidi doo. Wahaha! You're done, Father Servo. Enough, Father Servo yields. Phew! I don't think this guy's quite as tough as he lets on. Well, it was a nice workout, at least. Nice? Well, yes. Good for you. Now then, as payment for this lesson, you must bring Father Servo a warped wire. What? Listen, you didn't say anything about Bri- We sparred, yes. You learned many things, yes. Then surely an emolument is to be expected. This guy is shameless. You should be able to retrieve a warped wire from the dinosaur-like machines roaming about nearby. Bring it here before our next bout, if you if you would be so kind. Have you brought the required item? Yes, I have. Ah, excellent. Now we can engage in a new form of training. Father Servo will accept your challenge whenever you feel ready. For a fee, of course. Ugh, of course. All right. So first of many. Robo Dojo, a white belt completed. All right. 
Father Servo is currently engaged in preparations. Come back later. All right. I guess that means warping to a... Uh... Oh, well, he might be done already. Because the uh, target already showed back up. Oh, here's a quicker route, huh? Oh, Father Servo. Good old Father Servo. Ah! Hello, Father Servo. Ooh, you got weapons. Back for more, my child. Be warned, Father Servo has used your previous gift to make himself stronger than ever. Would you like to test yourself against this new modification? Time's a great wheel, yet do not expect things to transpire as they did last time we met. Okay. Yeah, you're putting up a good fight, my child. But you haven't seen me in max power yet. Stop, stop! No more! Phew! You happy now? Hmm. Now let us discuss the fee. Oh, come on! You're the one who wanted to test. Would you truly refuse a single request from this old monk? Okay, don't even start with me. Father Servo surrendered all worldly possessions and took numerous vows. Yet you would deny him even a simpler request. All right, all right, fine. What do you want this time? One memory alley, ally, and one broken circuit. The world moves ever on, my child, so do not dawdle. Would you stop calling me that already? You brought the required items? Hey, hey, I got that junk you wanted. Ah, excellent. Now Father Servo can modify himself anew. When you return, he'll be stronger than ever. Oh, I can't wait for that. Cool. All right, uh, we'll be right back. Ah, uh, brown belt. the servo well saving possible then I should save shouldn't I all right well bye bye children 
There he goes. Let's try for another one. I missed. How good are you to grace Father Servo with your presence once again? Such drive is admirable. Well then, do you care to witness the glories of this latest modification? Let's witness them glories. The Father Servo you knew has passed from this life, my child. Behold his latest incarnation. Black Belt. Wearing him down. Hopefully that hurt him a little. So well. Ouch. <laughs> Ow! Dang it, Father Servo. It'll take forever. I wonder. <sighs> Let's upgrade, maybe. Plug in chips. Three. Automatic or attack focus. Don't really care for that right now. Down attack. I had, I thought I had three of these. Hmm. I'll remove that one. Optimize. Hmm. Yay! Four percent. Yeah. 
Wait a minute. Defense, maybe. <clears throat> also, another auto heal would probably be good. Auto. <sighs> Where are you? There it is. We got two of those now. Melee defense. Sure. Sure. Ow. Ow. Ah. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, come on. Ha. Right on time. I 
need to upgrade my pods. <laughs> Though, I have to have certain uh, uh, materials to do that, don't I? Seems to go, he seems not to spin as much if I'm near him, if I stick close to him. So that's good. Oh no! <laughs> Woo uh -oh. All right, that works. my duder. He stops after he hits you. That's good. with this. Let's not do that. Ow! Ouch.
No more. Father Servo yields. So what do you want this time? More weird junk? The business already? My, my. Figured I should get it over with and save us both some time. You're a clever one, aren't you? Well, when the heaven offers sucker, it is poor for <laughs> it is poor form to refuse. Father Servo requires a silver silver ore, a pristine screw, and a broken battery. Hold on, that's more stuff than last time. Error, error, bad file or pathway. Bzzzt. Stop it! I know you're not broken. Let's go already. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Oh, cool. All right. I guess we gotta go get the stuff to get our prize. Brr. Robo Dojo. No, that's not the one. Well, at least that one's close. Uh, well, there's. Ah, okay. So there's two. Two in that place. Any clue as to how to get over there, though? Do not know. Weird. Village weapons trader. Do not know about that. Or that. City ruins. Okay. Alright, well, let's go over this area, I guess. South. Could it? Oh, hello. Maybe so. Hey, you're with Yorha, right? Hmm. Look, I know this is a bit out of the blue, but could you help me? I've got something of an emergency on my hands. Seems like some machine life forms have stolen several plug in ships containing classified data. If they realize what they have, we're going to be in big trouble. You have to help me get them back. Thanks. I gotta track down a total of three plug-in chips. I'll go ahead and send you the signal code so you can track them. They're all located somewhere in this city, so hopefully it won't take too long. Alert. Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. Hooray. Marking approximate location on map. <sighs> oh. Hey, big guy. Could you be holding one? Perchance. Fighting Father Servo four times, you ain't nothing. Ow. I say that, and then get punched in the face. That's what I get. Yeah! Gotcha. Alright. Requested material obtained. Oh, that's for Robo Dojo. Alright. So the other thing must be over here. Gots to be. Oh. It is likely in the possession of a machine life form. It is likely in the possession of a machine life form. 
Plug-in ship one. Requested plug-in ship obtained. <sighs> Mooney. All right. The other is it on the bridge? Because our pod said something while we were over there. Ah, floaties. Crystal obtained. Ah. Hmm. Huh. Over here, then. Hello. Don't you ever hold me down And don't you ever hold me down You got, you got nothing to hold me down Don't you ever hold me down Specifications of this plug-in chip are unusual. Okay. This chip is a model used exclusively by Yorha units. There is no reason for a non-Yorha android to possess it. A Yorha-only chip? Huh. Interesting. Hello. Ah! Ow, no! Fuck! <laughs> Ow! That hurt. Well, might heal all the way by the time I get back up there. <sighs> mm, not quite. But a good bit. Hey, y'all fell down. Use guys. Well then. Three. Alert. Incoming message from command. All units, be on the lookout for a missing Yorha in the city ruins. This unit was in possession of several plug-in chips that contain classified information. I need you to seek out whatever intel you can regarding their Ooh. current whereabouts and status. Roger. Well. Chips with classified data, is it? Isn't, isn't that just convenient that we should get the, that alert while we're on this mission? What is that? Oh, you guys. You. Can go away. You first. There you go. You second. Nice. Ranged attack up. That's a good one. We we don't have any of those on us. Ranged. Ranged. Okay, where were you, buddy? Where were you? Over there, I guess. Hmm. 
Where am he? Hey, how you doing, Panzer? <laughs> how you doing this evening? Ah, I think this is where he was. Hello, dude. Oh man, you really saved my bacon. I'll take those chips from you now. Classified information. Refuse. Huh? Why not? You don't actually suspect me of something, do you? Come on, I need those chips. Refuse. Before I give you the chips, I need you to answer a question. Do you know anything about the missing Yorhai unit in the area? No. You sure? Look, just forget about the chips. See ya. What? You feel like giving me those plug-in chips now? Ah, I'm conflicted. Yeah, about the same. Just doing some extracurriculars. In, uh, in this game. I don't want to hit too many story beats uh, because it's so late, but, you know, I fought Father Servo a few times, and I could probably go for some weapon upgrades at this point. I know I need to upgrade my pods. I haven't done any of theirs. I did just get a nice plug-in. Let's see, what can we spare? I like fast cooldown. Uh, what do we get? Uh, ranged, yeah, because we don't have any of those equipped yet. Might as well. I'll drop this one for now. Cool. And we haven't talked to this guy yet. Have you, uh, have you played through Nier Automata before? Hang on, Tubi. Hmm? This machine is still alive. Yes, so destroying it. Maybe we should hold off. Its main drive is oh, trashed, cool. so there's no way it can attack us. And we might be able to learn something interesting if we study it. It's philosophy of the game. A lot of, uh, uh, a lot of Asimov, uh, and Nietzsche, and... Uh, there are even, like, references to philosophers throughout the game. Like, there's a robot named Jean-Paul, who is a reference to Jean-Paul Sartre. I'm going... Uh, I'm going to try to repair some of its damaged circuits. Why? So we can learn more about the machines. Don't you think it's at least worth a shot? If you say so. Hmm... I'm going to need a pristine screw in order to finish the repairs. We might be able to find one in the remains rain, remains of other enemies. Pod, search, loca search for locations of relevant enemies. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. It's, uh, the game's all about what it means you know, to... I'm still not sure any of this is a good idea. The more data we have, the better, right? Game's all about... Oh my god, let me talk. Big machine. <laughs> Oh, we already have one. <laughs> Great. All right. All about, uh, and, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not, not answering questions, but exploring the question of, you know, what it means to be a person and at what point is, what point is a machine human? You know, what's the, like, our characters are androids and they're in a, centuries-long war against machines which are to them different and and uh, when the game started the general the uh, general wisdom of these androids that was that you know machines are just machines they don't have any emotions they don't understand what it is to f feel things and as we're going through uh, their percept their uh, you know their ideals are being challenged. Uh, 
It's a fantastic game. All right, Elhire. We already have one of the pristine screws, so let's give it to this dude. Forty-seven minutes later. Okay, then. Let's see what we got. I, uh, call one one zero. I was man new request Asian of step. This thing can talk? It seems to be replaying some kind of data. Machines don't have a conscious mind, you know. I managed to pull some data out of its memory. It seems to be info on the factory where it was constructed. I'll save it in a readable format. Archive obtained. Ingalls, 110B, record 0005. Is, it, is this everything? No, it seems there's more. But I need additional parts to access the rest. Let's see. Four pristine screws and one large gear should be enough to bridge the gap in its memory circuits. Fair enough. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Did you learn anything from the factory data? Just how it was manufactured. Pretty boring, actually. There's still a lot about machines that we don't understand. Gather as much data as you can, no matter how irrelevant it may seem. Like, there are, there are lots of examples of androids and the machines uh, imitating humans and them, you know, through in uh, nice writing ways, them calling that out and, like, like, why are we choosing to, you know, reflect on this thing that we're not, that was, you know, what are the things that may have created us? And the machines, the machines weren't created by humans. It's a whole convoluted mess of a story about, uh, at one point, centuries ago, uh, Earth was invaded by aliens and near, in, and made the machines and nearly wiped out all the humans. So the humans fled to the moon, they created the androids, and then there were like several satellite bases where production of androids were, and they sent them down to Earth to fight the machines. So the we haven't even seen a human, but they're they're up on a base in the on the moon and we're basically their line of defense against the uh against the machines. Until now, the androids have assumed that machines aren't at all sentient. They're just made for a purpose, made for killing, and don't really have any consciousness of their own. But it doesn't seem to be the case. We know screws on big bipedal machines, hmm. but what about large gears? Let's try the operator again. 9S to operator. We're trying to track down a large gear. Any idea where to start the search? Why are you looking for... Well, anyway, you can salvage the requested material from smaller machine life forms. Finding one intact might prove tricky, however. The part is easily damaged when the machine housing it is destroyed. Thanks, operator. That's good to know. Right. Let's go take out some small fry. <laughs> Straight to the point, as always, 2B. All right. Well, I don't know, perhaps over this area where the large orange dot is on the map. Ah, here we go. Perhaps. a big guy. Well, that would be a big one. Oh, hello. Ow.
And oddly enough, this game and its and its predecessor, Nier, are a continuation of the Dragon Guard series. The director had a weird vision for this. <laughs> Is it the big O? Oh, sweet. We got the uh, other piece. Is that all? No, I guess we still have one more that we would need. Let's take a look. Hmm. Robo Dojo. Oh, good. Well, I can give these materials to Father Servo. Just today, this crater happened. The city was once flatter, but at some point in the story, you get this big, like, uh, sinkhole. <laughs> big O got really weird at the end. I never did see all of it, but yeah, that's kind of the impression I got to. Like memory erasing or something. Not quite ta time travel, but kind of time travel-ish. I think it. I think that anime came out around the time of. Uh, yeah, tip of the iceberg. Came out around the time of uh, the movie Dark City, and I feel like there were some similar ideas uh, that were being played around with. your aggro. You guys were just, you guys were nice earlier. And as we discovered today, there's an entire village full of uh, nice sentient machines who were, uh, who when you first came upon them, they were like waving white flags. It's like, we don't want any, we don't want to fight. Like, we just want to live here peacefully. Earlier in the day when I was playing, definitely recommend checking if you decide to go back and watch any of this. Uh, today's, I, this is my second video of the day, I just wanted to do some extras. Uh, but today's earlier video, at uh, about an hour and 20 minutes, there's this really compelling scene. It's, and it's the, it's the part in the game that got me to the first time I played this game a couple years ago that really got me hooked. It's like, oh, okay, I, this is artful. All right, Father Servo, have your parts. Have you brought the required items? We've got what you wanted. Pretty much needed a wheelbarrow to carry it all. Ugh. Thank you, my child. With these items, the flesh of Father Servo will be so, 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 so powerful. Good, because I'm going to beat you silly next time Next time to make up for all your stupid errands. Oh, sweet. So this guy, uh, you get to fight him multiple times and bring him things to upgrade him to make him harder, but you get well rewarded for it, too. A ranged attack 2 chip. Fantastic. I could fight you again, Father Servo. I don't know if I'm ready for that. He'd be level 50 or 60 next time. I'm like 19. It took like, it took about 10 minutes for me to beat him on 40. So I'll wait till I power up more. Yeah, a little bit. It The city definitely looks like I am legend. <laughs> the book, not the movie abomination. <laughs> 
That's funny. All right. This game does some fun, fun things. I'm going to take this guy out and show you what I'm talking about. There are 26 endings in this game. Mm, the large majority are joke endings, but for, for there's an ending for every letter of the alphabet. And I'll, I'll show you an example of one in a minute. Ow, ow, ow. Christine Screw. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I hear. The book plot's much different. Hi, Moose. Alright, so quick save. So check this out. As you... You saw in my skills area, we have plug-in chips where we, we can uh, customize things like, you know, critical hit and uh, what, like, uh, better better attack, all that, all that jazz. Uh, experience gain, blah, blah, blah. All awesome things. You have even, even things like your uh, HUD damage values, uh, save points, uh text log all that stuff your objectives mini map all that is part all can be removed uh, optionally because you only have so much space right and the little numbers beside her how how many little lines of code they take up uh, you also have an operating system chip if you remove it <laughs> Booting system. Caution. Handle with care. Removal of OS chip will, will result in death. <laughs> that, that's an ending. <laughs> For the joke endings, they just quick scan the credits. Like, all right, all right, you did that. Get out of here. <laughs> There's some where you'll even accidentally go off the... Uh, uh, there are parts in the story where it's a lot, uh, a little bit more linear, and if you take a wrong turn, they're like, and then the character wandered off and never came back. The end. <laughs> but you, you know, go right back to your, where you saved. Pull out your own operating system chip. Alright, so let's go to the resistance camp. Bam. I want to see if I can upgrade any of my pods. The little... little floaty thing beside me that shoots it's my projectile buddy also the bow is totally optional she she doesn't start out with it but you can do some side missions and you know get some little wearables I kind of like it Oh, I want the blue one. I like the blue ribbon. All right, let's see. Need any maintenance? Maybe. Upgrade my pod? Ah, I can't yet. Don't even have access to most of these. I think a lot of these materials exist exist in the forest, which we haven't gotten to yet. Fuse. Now, if you have a butt ton of the same thing at at the same level, you can fuse them together to make a higher level of that thing. Huh. Any of these that I might want to? Huh. Sure. Bam. Oh, 
Okay. I think I'll hold on to the other. Put these two together, maybe. Oops. I want to put the one and one together. There we go. Now. Bam. I got a plus three, which is really good. Could even combine these two. Make a plus four. Hmm. Maybe. I'll hold off for now. Mm, drop rate, drop rate. Alright. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know, actually. I think I'll hold off on that one. Some fun customizing. Weapon attack. I love this flavor text in my game. Uh, Shiraza is a great girlfriend. I mean, friend. We are, a, we are in no way dating. But if we were, I would like her to know that I wish her a happy anniversary. Thank you. No more questions. <laughs> what is this game? Hey, yo. I did your quest. Hey, you're back. So how'd it go? Did you find him, or...? Ah, <sighs> he's dead. I'm very sorry, but your friend is dead. Oh. He's trying to get revenge against the machine that killed his comrades. Oh, no. But he wasn't strong enough, and the machine ended up killing him instead. Damn the machines. I'll murder them all. Whoa, easy. It's okay. We took out the one that killed your friend. You did? Yes, we did, which means there's no need for you or anyone else to go seeking revenge. But what do I do now? I have no one to love and no one to kill. I have nothing. That's not... Come on, Nines. Look, we'll come back, okay? We'll come back and check on you. There's a, another philosophical question there. Gameplay-wise. Introduced through gameplay, rather. Was it better to tell her the truth or to lie to her? We just don't know. Uh, the new League card game. Cool. We get, we get new sad music for that quest. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Handed over the amusement park photo. This is from the amusement park. I remember having fun there, together. Together? Together? Oh, oh yeah, she lost her memories. Welcome! We've got loads of good stuff here. Don't need any of that. I don't think. Come back soon. Right. Oops, right there. Let's go to the uh, machine village. There's a scientist there that I'm funding. over here. Ugh. 
apparently invested in me to the tune of 40,000 G. Would you possibly be able to invest in the inventions of the world's foremost genius? Joy, elation! I did not think, I had not thought myself capable of such. And just between you and I, know that if you provide enough of an investment, I'll be able to pro provide certain dividends in return. Now then, what care you to invest? Very wise, very wise. A shrewd investor knows to strike when the iron's hot, eh? I look forward to a fruitful working relationship in the future. Quite. Two days later. Eureka! I've done it! Feast your feast eyes and senses alike upon my new invention. A crust nut and a dented plate. Alas, but sadly, this staggering work of genius has exhausted my funding. Would you care to make a new investment in my in my efforts? I have no idea. I don't have enough right now. Two days to crush a nut and dent a plate, right? <laughs> uh, I have no idea what they're for. I'm sure they're key items or something. Let's see. Or some, like, synthesis material. That's a good point. <laughs> to crush a nut and dent a plate. I already, what? I have 14 of those. Do we, do we have crushed nut, a crushed nut already? Where's that crushed nut? Oh, it must be in a different... Oh, there it is. Okay, so they are pretty rare. So, yeah, it's probably a synthesis thing. at the moment here. This is bad. This is really bad. What? Oh. Can't get in there yet. Locked. Welcome to our village. Say, are you all right? There was a huge earthquake, so I was worried. Wow, that was a huge earthquake. an explosion in the distance. Are you okay? That I am. Alright, I guess, yeah, nothing, nothing new here at the moment. Oh yeah, there are these two people down here, I think, that needed something. Thank you. We just need an elaborate gadget to conduct the repairs. I saw one near the abandoned factory. Thank you again. We know you can do this. All right, let's do that then. Uh, not that way. That's gotta be it.
Moose, I want to ride you. There we go. Uh. Ah! On top of a moose. The moose is loose. <laughs> Alright. Mappy map. Show me. Oh, I don't have the pieces for that one. No. Yeah. Okay, that's where we want to go. So up this bridge toward the ab abandoned machine factory. Bleh. All right. Thank you. Hello. Oh, I could have warped here a lot quicker. My bad. Ah, natural rubber. Nice. Okay. Well, that just means we can warp out quicker, too. Yeah, the uh the access terminals where you can uh transfer your consciousness to another android body, they are disguised to look like uh vending machines for no discernible reason. Like they they mention it. They're like they're disguised to look like vending machines, but assumedly it's to throw off the machines, but you have to liberate these from machines sometimes. Like, they're, you'll find them attacking them, and before you can use them, you got to kill all the machines in the area. So, the disguise doesn't work, so I don't know why they chose to have them look like vending machines in the game. <laughs> Just for fun, I guess. Alright, guys. That's it! Now my companion can fix, fix what's been ailing him. I'm so glad we trusted you. We'll leave this place as soon as we can. Please, please pray for our safe passage. Oh, nice. Why, thank you. A couple nice items. Well, if you're hanging out here, I guess I can do some story stuff. You know, I wanted to hold off until I had an audience. I figured I, no one was going to show up while because it's this late. But, yeah, I'll play around with some stuff. So, let's see. Let's look at our missions. Yeah! <laughs> is that, what is that? I thought it was like a Meat Boy character at first, but it's, it looks like a liquid blob of, with big ol' googly eyes. Oh yeah, jackass. She might have some nice stuff for us. The wandering couple, that's done. Deliver plug-in ships. The resistance m member. Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Not sure if I want to do that. That one could cost me. I don't know. 
All right. Let's see. Jack has his research. Photographs. All right. Cool. So we'll go talk to Jackass. That's her real name. Or nickname. I don't know. Assumedly, she has a letter or number designation like 9S and 2B. But the Resistance uh, androids all have more colorful names like Anemone and Jackass. Wow! Alright. Hopefully. I can't just whip up a complicated drug like this overnight. Go keep yourself busy for a while, yeah? I did a series of uh, combat tests for her. And she's going to be making some kind of super drug for us to enhance our combat. Alright. Well. Moose! When the world ends, the moose take over. <laughs> Apparently. Well, we did that. Anything else? Where could they be? I don't know. Did that. Mm, all right. Resist resistance disappearance. Check the woman at the resistance camp. Hmm. Oh yeah. Well, do we want to check on her again? Maybe she. I. Th I'm pretty sure the next step is to go to the bunker, but I'm gonna check on this lady again who we just told the news that her friend's dead. Maybe one of those kind of gameplay things where you gotta leave the area and come back. Before anything's changed. Not here. Huh? She's gone. You're looking for the lady who was just here? Yeah. She left a while ago. Seemed pretty upset about something, too, and she was armed to the teeth. Oh, no. Hey, I just remember she wanted me to give you something. Here. Whoa, all this? Yeah, she sh said she didn't need it anymore. Hey, don't ask me. I don't understand women at all. Max HP plus three. That's the best one I've gotten for HP plus. Cool. Let's see if I can even use it. Well, I can. I just have to decide if I want to make room for it. It's possible we'll find her dead where we found her friend. Who knows? Fifteen. Steep price. Uh, I think I'll. Well, yeah. Let's, let's let's check what we actually have equipped. Do want that? I'll move that one for now. We have another ranged attack, too, I think. I might want to put that one on as well. So I think that's what I'll do. We just got a, just got two of them, so sweet. Yeah. So I've got attack pluses and range, ranged attack pluses. All right, so let's go to the bunker, which is in space. Yorha, for the glory of mankind. Yorha is the android organization that's based in uh, the production satellites in space. The resistance androids aren't part of Yorha. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. 
Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. Oh, but you he's mean our that friend. freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Pascal's our buddy, though. It's the nice machine in the machine village. I don't want to rat on him. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? All right. It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. <laughs> All right. Do you want to take a break? Sure. Night, night. <laughs> sure. WTB one soda. What's WTB? <laughs> Willing to buy one soda. <laughs> to B? Is that you? Yes, but... Thank goodness, my name is 16D. My instructor, 11B, was one of your squad mates in the assault on the abandoned factory. I don't suppose she... She was shot down during battle. I... I see. What a shame. She was the closest thing I had to a mentor. She was so strong and admirable. What happened to her body? I don't know. I don't know... I know it's, it isn't my place to be asking you this, but, well, if you happen to run across anything of hers, would you mind bringing it back to me? It's not a priority or anything, just if you have the time. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Pod, do we have any information about 11B's black box? Negative. 11B's black box is yet to be recovered. She was shot down near the abandoned factory, right? 11B's memo accepted. Let's do that. Oh, I don't have to use a mech to get down. I can just use a terminal. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> There's two types of androids in this game. To be or not to be. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what Earth was like when the humans lived there. Well, not that I know what it, what Earth is like now, but you get what I mean. Indeed I do. Oh, indeed I do. All right, so Yeah, I guess the I guess the factory. So near the factory. Center. Yeah, I guess this is it. Uh, there we go. That's what I want. Let's go find 11B's body. It's, this game is neat, but one of the other neat things about it is they love to play around with genres, with gaming genres. The game starts as a, um, uh, like, top-down shooter. Like you're in one of those uh, little mech suits, and you're part of a squadron of Yorha units, and you're assaulting this base, and it's all, like, bullet hell uh Ak akaruga style and then it switches to basically like switching to all-terrain mode and it the camera angle switches and you instead of l going in like plane formation you're more like in mech suit formation to where you're uh shooting in all directions using your like right right toggle button then during the same sequence it's sequence it switches to like 2d side view mode where you're kind of you know just avoiding it incoming projectiles from the side up and down you get some pretty cool variation throughout the game of different uh, a different 
gameplay styles. Alright, to the factory then. I appreciate that they let you climb ladders quickly like that. Ah! See, they opted to go with a top down for this area. One of the few games I've played recently where they also they definitely seem to encourage the like all fingers on buttons play style, like because you have you have your dodge move where uh, your right trigger is, you have your lock on with your left trigger, then you have your pod shots with your uh, bumper, then your charge pod move with your uh, left bumper, and then your melee attacks with X and Y. get use of out they get use out of like every button I think Ow. hello Thank you. Give me that. Give me that. Give me some of that. All right. Oh, hi. Still a place for pretty low-level enemies. I think eventually it'll be inhabited by higher, higher ones. I can't get through that yet. You have things like you can customize your pods. Like I'm, I'm opting to use this uh, ethereal hammer move. You just charge it up and out, bring it down. But it starts you off with a charge laser attack. Uh, there are several others you can choose from. I tend to like this one. That doesn't work. No, I think I won't fight you. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Get out of here. Okay, so it looks like uh, her body's in this area somewhere. Uh, as we're in this orange part of the map. Ah! Get him. Oh yeah, we lowered that earlier. Cool. Oh, sweet. Level 20. Okay. That's a Yorha unit. Oh, gotta be her. Yorha Type B body confirmed. It belongs to the missing unit known as 11B. All right. So this is where you landed. Pod, can you access her black box? Negative. Unit 11B's black box has been irreparably damaged. Oh. Hmm. Proposal. Unit 2B should recover any usable weapons. Fragmented data detected in memory region. Eleven B's escape plan. Reactivation complete. A check of my body reveals various failures. Communication functions have been destroyed. I cannot contact my team or the bunker. I leave a draft of this message here as a log. Elapsed time uh, eight minutes later. I verify the plan once more. Using my supposed destruction in this sortie as a guise, I sever all communication. I then pass beneath the abandoned factory and escape. Further analysis reveals I took anti-air fire while in the flight unit, resulting in damage to my body. No matter. It can be repaired. About five minutes later. I'm cold. My sensory system seems to be failing. About 15 later. 18. Noise has started to cloud my vision. Virus warnings appear frequently. It is unclear whether I'm infected or if the system is in error. Only a few seconds later. Repairs are proceeding poorly. Perhaps because I'm flustered. Pursuers will come if I don't move soon. Was I wrong to attempt escape? Ten seconds later. I'm scared. I want to go back to the bunker, but I can't restore communications. Five minutes later. This can't continue. I can't stay here. I have to run. Yorha squadron was wrong. I have to find somewhere safer. I'm scared. I'm so scared. About 12, uh, 12 minutes, no, seven minutes later. No, yeah. Painful. It hurts. Help. Why stop? Who am I? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I need to run. Oh. She was planning to go AWOL. Violation of regulations detected. However, due to the death of the unit in question, corrective punishment is impossible. I'll bring this weapon back to 16D in the bunker. Rest in peace, 11B. Oh, 
quick way out. on the outside. Hey, operator. Oh, 2B, hello. I found 11B's body along with this weapon. You handed over 11B's belongings. The battle log is still intact on this. She must have fought right up to the end. I always knew she was the bravest of us all. Thank you, 2B. But I think you should keep it. You're a combat model, model after all, whereas I'm a defensive unit. I'm sure 11B would be happy knowing it was being put to good use. All right. Your ha issue blade. Mm. I'm gonna keep it to myself. Are you sure this is everything? There's no other information? I'm sure. Well, at least now I can put her memory to rest. Can I admit something to you? 11B and I, we were in a relationship. She promised to protect me. It all seemed so romantic at the time, but now she can't. I've been thinking of converting to a combat model like you and her. That way I can avenge her death. I see. Anyway, thank you. Oh, and here, you should take this. I don't have a reason to protect myself anymore. Melee defense plus six. That's awesome. You know, if I'm not mis if if I remember correctly, I chose to tell her the first time I played this. It was a it was a, a sad turn of events. 
Because she ended up, like, just feeling very badly about her. She kind of, like, denounced her as a friend or something. I forget exactly how old it was, but she, like, she was, she was like, ashamed for her. Uh, so, it's interesting to take this route. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Boom. Well, let's get that melee defense on. 22. Ugh. But still, that reduces your damage by almost a third. That's really, really good. Considering one at the basic level, it's 2%. This is 30%. That's really good. <laughs> All right. I can make room for that. All right, which ones do I not want at the moment? I'll take this one off. Uh, optimize. How many do we have? <clears throat> it doesn't say in numbers, which is a little bit annoying. Hmm. Ah. No, that's the wrong one. Yeah, I need a lot more. How much more? Ah, well, maybe. Ranged. Ranged. Attacked. Yeah, I'll take that one off, too. I don't have any defensive ones. So this will be really nice. Or that I'm using anyway. Fantastic. Uh, no room for those. Okay. <sighs> oh, weapons. A virtuous contract. And now a Yorha issue blade. Nearly as strong. Hmm. Though I can try to upgrade it and see what it comes to. that farther farther room is I guess we can check it out minus is room yay hello sorry Let's seeing if I can find some treasures yeah Yeah, what's in this area? Huh. Shops, maybe? Ah, it's a... Yeah, there is a shop. Need some maintenance? Maybe an enhancement or two? Let me know. I can't upgrade them yet. Yeah. I guess I could get a, uh... A thing or two. Bob, what is that? Oh, that's my. Yeah, that's a good one. Hmm. Blar. A lot of these I don't want to risk selling and then need them later. Some of them will say. Some items will say, yeah, it's only use, useful for selling. But, so yeah, I'll pass for now. Let's go to the robot village and talk to Pascal. Hmm. 
apparently we Yorha's wanting us to keep tabs on the machines. Making me spy on my buddy. Ask about Pascal's pacifism. Pascal, why do you choose not to fight? We have been alive for hundreds of years. We lost countless of friends time and time again. But losing friends isn't what scares me. What scares me is the fact that I've grown used to seeing those I care about die all around me. That's why I decided I'd had enough. Yes, Ask about the aliens. Do you know anything about the aliens? The aliens? You mean the ones who created us? I'm sorry, there's not much I can tell you. We've been fighting for centuries without a single message from them. I guess you could say that the fact that they never gave us orders anymore is all also the reason why we quit fighting. Yes, Ask about the other machines. Pascal. Yes, Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? Sounds like something we should check out. All right. Say, are you all right? There's a there was a huge earthquake, so I was worried. To the forest kingdom. Brown, brown, brown. What's the quickest way there? Ah. Resistance camp to see if I can upgrade this Yorha Captain Sword. tough lately, but it's important to get rest. Make sure you keep your weapons in good order, too. Your ha issue blade. Hmm, okay. So let's see. 270 to 324. Okay, so this is, this ends up being the same uh, level as my virtuous contract. But this one, discount, huh? So this one actually gives you, like, shop advantages. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I think I'll Q 
keep things as they are for now. Come again. All right. So I think the entrance. I think we can get in through this village. I know there's a door. There's a big gate. We'll see if it'll let us in that way. If not, I think I know the other way there. It probably says it in my quest log too. Well, while we're here, we can talk to that scientist again and give him some more money. Hmm. Hello, fellow. Would you like some more money? Because I got it. Go ahead. Have some more. Brr, 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 brr. Two days later. Uh, meteorite shard. Charge attack. Plus three. Sweet. A lack and woe. I find myself once again strapped for the proverbial coin of the realm. What say you? Might you be willing to loosen your purse strings and aid me with a meager sum of a hundred G? Or 100,000 G. I don't have enough right now. A pity. This was to be the foremost invention of our generation. I fear you may awaken one one night with a cold sweat upon your brow, cursing your very name for the lack of investing foresight. Yes, yes, a shame. Ah, uh, once I get there, fine. Well, so now I gotta get a butt on. 100,000 down to eight, I think. <laughs> you dudes. I don't think I have anything useful for you. That way. No, no. <laughs> the game crashed. <laughs> Time to bring it back. Hopefully I didn't lose much progress. That would have sucked. That would stink. Game, if you crashed and made me lose progress, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a sad man. Your Well, we're already all the way back in the... Oh my god. At least let me have the sword. Ah, good. Ah, don't have to go back to that factory. That's very nice. Alright. Not bad then. Only a small bit lost. Back to Pascal's village to get the information from him. Whew. Oh, that would have been a sad day. Have to walk, go all the way through the factory again and find 11B. I 
should still have that defensive. Right. Yeah. Melee defense plus six. The other thing... Let's see, I think I already have one of those charges, right? Charge plus three. That I'm not using. Anti-chain damage. Hmm, I might take this off. Auto use item. Move that too. Ah, so it's uh, plus two then. The one that guy must give me is probably goes up to like 200%, which is good, but I think I'll pass for now. Not bad that, though. That was also seven. Yeah, we'll just have that. Cool. Yeah, it speeds that up. All right, Pascal. And for now, I guess I'll just. <laughs> On the bright side, it means we don't have to spend that money. The reward's nice, but it's not super great. Forest Kingdom? Yes, there's a group of missionaries quite hot. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. Gotcha. You should be if you go, however, be careful. City ruins, gotcha. Okay. Good. I know where to go then. Well, you're about to witness an interesting scene then. Hmm. Near the tower. I believe that's it. Another pristine screw, I'm sure. Say, 2B. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me 9s? 9S works just fine. Well, yeah, but... This job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. 
You still there, Panzer? It's hard to tell. I don't have the uh, streaming data in front of me. Ooh, a treasure chest that I can't open. been going for two hours. I think I might just cut the stream here. No saving in this spot, so I gotta go back towards... Because I don't think anybody's here. I don't want to continue. I don't have to. Alright, well, this is going to be it for today, then. Have a nice night.